Welcome and welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. We join No Cash Clash episode number 244, Mid Raid. As you know what? After almost 250 episodes of a free to play account, perhaps it's time to kick back and take a look at all that we've done. I mean, can you believe how close we are to Town Hall 14 without ever spending a penny? The biggest gemmer in the game, and here we are. I've discovered the true joys of farming. It has been a blast, and we are not stopping yet. So, yes, of course, if you want to stay subscribed and stay notified, please do. Remember, also, you can always use code Galadon, even though we don't spend money in this account. We do spend a lot of money in other accounts, and using code Galadon goes a long way to help keep the episodes coming and the Gem to Max series alive, of course, right? Yeah. Oh, get ready. Oh, man. I've seen it. And and let's just say one cannot possibly be prepared. Okay. I mean, uh, Clan Capital, right? We got that whole thing going as well. And we are, of course, participating in that in my No Cash and Gold Pass accounts. But for now, we're still just pretty much farming with Sneaky Goblins. As you can see, ending up with leftover troops and spells almost every time, taking massive amounts of loot from players, and yes, believe it or not, having fun. Although, today, for the first time in a long time, we are getting back into war attacking, and uh, what I think is definitely the strongest attack right now at Town Hall 13 in Clan War. I mean, I've given you guys the tools. If you're not using Sneaky Goblins and Super Wall Breakers, or at least Sneaky Goblins, then you are failing at farming, and that's all I can say. Now, in the home village, let's get to the upgrading because, yes, it is a race against Gold Pass Clash to see which account can get to Town Hall 14 first, and it's really close right now. Gold Pass has an advantage in walls, but everything else is pretty close. So we are going to make sure that we do all that we can to catch up. We're going to be spending gems, way more gems than we've spent in a long time in this account. And yes, we finally did have a Rune of Elixir that we were able to use from, I think that was a recent clan games. So we got some more walls going. Hopefully that is going to help us catch up. And also we are kind of shifting our focus in this account. And that is we are going towards spending more gems. We're not worried about saving them as much. We're going to start spending them so that we can advance to Town Hall 14 soon. Okay, one more raid. Uh, this just shows an example of how overpowered Sneaky Goblins are when you decide to put those spells on the grass. Sometimes, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, it, yeah, okay. All the haste and then the jump in the same spots. Uh, I don't even know. I, I, I actually can't explain what happened there. I, I really can't. But hey, if you were in a Facebook live stream, you probably saw that and you probably also saw my reaction. All right, we saved the day anyway. Check it out. We three star the loot. That is gold elixir, dark elixir. And we walk off with another huge raid and the max bonus for the league, which uh, we're still right around champion three. Okay, next day, next upgrade, hidden Tesla done. We are going to count those defenses at the end of every episode now, but the question is, should we count walls? Do I need to put in a wall count as well? Let me know down in the comments if that's something you think would be worthwhile as we compete between no cash and gold pass clash. Also letting you guys know, and this is a big change from all of my previous town hall upgrades. You see those bombs, traps, and mines. We are gonna go ahead and max those this time at Town Hall 13 before we go to 14 to make it fair and even between the two accounts. Okay, here we go with my favorite type of base to raid as a Town Hall 14. I love this pentagon, pentagram, five on the dice base, whatever you wanna call it, with the Town Hall in the middle. This has been a lot of fun for me at Town Hall 14 in Legend League. So the thought was, let's approach this as a Town Hall 13 exactly the same as I would do it as a 14. And that is, we come in from one of these openings and it's kind of random. Obviously, we're going sort of towards the Eagle Artillery here. We've triggered the Tornado Trap and we've dropped in the remainder of the funnel, the King and the Siege Barracks down there at the bottom right of your screen. Also notice that both scatter shots are kind of within range of the Queen. The thought was here, perhaps she can get the scatter shots and the Eagle. The King can pull double duty, working on the funnel and taking out the defending Queen and Royal Champion. And then everybody else moves here on the right hand side. They do have to face one of the scatter shots, but other than that, it looks pretty good. They're going to head in towards the general vicinity of the Town Hall. The Archer Queen facing that single Fargan Turno. She needed that free spell. She's going to squeeze on past and nobody is headed for the for the town hall 
but that's okay. Somebody's going to go there. We are just about to 50%. You've got the Hog Riders and the Miners that are kind of heading in towards the middle. we got the Warden ability. we got the Poison spell down there just to poison the Town Hall out of bitterness. Finally, it does go down, and of course, it blows up and really hurts the Hogs. We drop the last heal, and it's looking good, right? Surprisingly, looks like we are going to do okay around the bottom of this base. The Archer Queen... Okay, fine. She's no longer with us, but because of the fact that we only have single target infernos remaining, and I do always say that term correctly, single target infernos, that's going to help out with the Hog Riders and the Miners rolling through the rest of the base, the rest of the defenses, with the Royal Champion and the Grand Warden in tow. Yeah, we've pretty much got this one right here. Grand Warden looking super healthy. No more defenses are left and plenty of time. So I'm loving this attack at Town Hall 13. Air may be the meta at Town Hall 14, but I feel like there's still a lot of room for different mixed ground attacks coming at Town Hall 13. And we pick up a feel good CWL three star with no cash clash. So yes, we've got that, but I'll tell you, even though this is fun, it's not my favorite technique or my favorite raid in clash or even in this account right now. That indeed has to be what you're going to see right here, and yes, you've seen it many times, Invincigob. We send in the goblins in a farming raid, and then we use the Warden's ability right here as the goblins pass by, then a rage spell, and just look look at them go to town. I mean, through the town hall, through the Dark Elixir, and on to more storages, all under the spell of the Grand Warden. Uh, that is a lot of fun, and that's definitely my favorite thing to do right now. We'll fast forward through the rest of this attack. Just want to show you guys that one because I always have a blast when we use Invincigob, and I know I've made too many videos about it, so we can't really like title a video Invincigob anymore. But you know, we got to keep it mixing up. We got to keep it new and fresh and different. Okay. Uh, I'll admit I'm not doing a great job of that either because we're using the same attacks both in farming and uh, Town Hall 14. That'll change things up, right? Maybe not. Okay, status report for no cash clash of clans. We are still yeah. rising in trophies. That's feeling good. That's not even intentional. Intentionally, however, is the spend on Whoa. gems. So we're down to 2,500 gems. The heroes did not gain any new levels oh. at all today, but if you want to come see them get upgraded, make sure you stop by a Facebook live stream. Defensive upgrades remaining down Whoa. to 35. What, did you think they were going to go up? Okay, Galafam, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. True hashtag Galafam. Get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, on the planet, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks finished early. Gallidon! Gallidon! Famous last words, eh? That's what she...